All right, today is kind of a different video. I'm doing a uh, review on some sardines. <laughs> Polar sardines, look at this. That looks like a graphic, but there's actually plastic on here. This is the actual sardines. So uh, if you don't know, I'm, I, I kind of like sardines and I like my hot sauce. So I'm gonna uh, use this Melinda's garlic habanero sauce. And we've got some club crackers and some pickled jalapenos. And of course some beer to wash it down. These little Corona bottles, I bought those because I got these salt and pepper shaker things. They're cool to put on there. And uh, these little tiny bottles work good for that. Anyway, so let's open this thing up. Looks really cool, see that? Uh, I got these at Walmart. There's a lots of other type of sardines they got there. They've got actually a really good uh, selection. These are herring. And here's some black seaweed pearls caviar. So I might be doing reviews on all these. It's kind of cool. I like this kind of stuff. It's kind of different. I have a pretty, pretty good taste here for this stuff. Hmm. Look at that. It says they're smoked. So, and I, as soon as I took the lid off, I could smell the smoke. Let's put one of these on a cracker and see. It smells really good. Comes on here. Jalapeno, a little bit of Melinda's habanero sauce, just a touch, maybe two, three. Come on, get out of there. Oh. All right, I don't know how hot it is, so um, wash it down with Corona. I got this at a yard sale like years ago. It's like a vintage taxidermy kangaroo uh, bottle opener. Pretty crazy. I think I got this like 25 years ago or something like that. I don't know how old this looks, 60s or something. But I kind of, I don't like the, like them see a kangaroo get killed for that, but it's vintage, so. All right, so here it looks. Look at that. Let's get the taste. Tell them. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. That's I think that's better than my this is kind of my go-to, which you can find most places. Usually not with the hot chilies, but uh, these little herring steaks are really good. And I think these taste a little bit better. They have a really, really good smoky flavor. So I recommend these Polar sardines. I got these at Walmart. I can't remember the price. They were under $2. Oops, I just dumped juice all over that. That's all right. Oh, you know, I should have given them a ranking out of uh, 1 to 10. This is a solid 8. That smokiness is great. Uh, if I'm going to rate this Melinda's garlic, it's okay. Uh, Probably get a little better taste here. I'll put a little bit more on there. Their products are usually pretty good. Mmm. That's pretty good. It's got that nice habanero taste with the garlic in there. I mean, it's not as spicy as I thought. They actually say it's not that spicy. So. Solid hot sauce. Now it's something I typically eat. I give it like a 6.5. Corona, 7 as usual. There you go. Thanks for watching. Club crackers. Solid cracker, 8. <laughs> These jalapenos. I can't remember the brand. Probably around a 6. They're not the best jalapenos. So, thanks again. Alright, a little bonus footage here. I'm going to show you how to make a awesome smoked fish dip I uh, had a few extras so you've, I've got about three-fourths of a block of cream cheese there and six of those awesome sardines put a tablespoon of mayonnaise a tablespoon of sour cream 
about a teaspoon of a cayenne based hot sauce and sprinkle in well it helps if I take the cap off probably a half a teaspoon of garlic powder some black pepper quite a bit I like it that way and this is what the uh, Corona bottle thing what it looks like when it's filled up kind of cool and just sprinkle that in and I'm gonna mix it all up after I put these other things in here that I showed you and we'll give it a taste like it is can you see that doesn't look very appetizing but the green stuff I forgot to mention was just green onions about two stalks chopped and I used about a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder mm. not overly fishy the wife even likes it so you know it's gotta be good give it a try thanks for watching subscribe